Hello, my name is Leisha Breen, and I'm the founder and CEO of Be Your Own Guru Live, where the authentic guru resides within. Today, I'd like to talk about happiness and how to obtain it and what it really is and what it is really not. So many people equate happiness with abundance, with wealth, with things, with stuff. And many people that have won the lottery, that have become multimillionaires, have not found happiness in stuff. Happiness is a state of mind and it's a choice. People from Oprah Winfrey to the Dalai Lama discuss how to obtain happiness. Genetically, it's a set point. We have a set point within us as to how happy we're going to be. And then from there, happiness is a habit because we either go down a road of negativity and repeat that behavior and that mental attitude on a regular basis, or we embrace joy and repeat that mental emotion and behavior on a regular basis. There's a famous study that was conducted by um, Harvard University on the classes of 1938 through 1940 on 268 men. And the question that was asked is, what really creates happiness in a person's life? life? And so they, they looked at these people and studied them for several decades and found that true happiness actually comes from our relationships with others. How much have we provided love to others and how much love do we feel we have um, received? And true happiness comes from relationships. It doesn't come from power or money. Many subscribe to a life of misery and suffering because they don't know any better or they believe the lie that that's what life is all about. <laughs> yes, there are certainly are times in our lives that are tragic. And there's many times that we've brought those tragedies onto ourselves because we haven't used our wisdom and we haven't thought things through well enough to stop the problems or the circumstances that could have been avoided. So I would like to submit that you choose happiness, that you choose cultivating an attitude of gratitude and that you start your day every day taking the time to look at what you are grateful for. If you do this, you will be well on your way to a life of joy and harmony and happiness. Build those relationships with others. Cultivate loving, deep relationships because in the final analysis, that's what's truly going to matter. I'm not in any way saying, don't go out and grab the brass ring and make your millions. Do that if that's what you want to do. But realize that it's the relationships in life that are really going to bring you joy and substance within your soul. And be aware of what your actions are causing. Because again, we're all going to make mistakes. We're human. But nine times out of 10, people don't learn from their mistakes. They just keep repeating them over and over and over again. So let's learn when we've made a mistake. Let's truly learn and not do it again, because that's where a lot of human suffering comes from, is the repetition in the mistakes. I hope you found some of this information useful, and I hope you learned something today. My name is Leisha Breen with Be Your Own Guru Live, where the authentic guru resides within. Have a beautiful day until we meet again. Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, you'll get by. If you smile through your tears and sorrow, smile and maybe tomorrow, you'll see that sun come shining through. If you just 
Light up your face with gladness Hide every trace of sadness Although a tear may be ever so near If you smile through your tears and sorrow Smile that may be tomorrow You'll see that sun come shining through For you just smile You'll see the sun come shining through